Hi, welcome back to Gizmo Guru. I've got the Sony Xperia Z with me today. The phone went on sale internationally just a little while back, and after having used it for some time, it's easily my favorite Android phone. The guys at Sony have been working on making rugged phones for a while with their Go series, and some of that know-how has made it to the Xperia Z as well. This is a top-end flagship device with a very sleek design, but still packs an IP57 certification, which means it's water-resistant for a depth of up to one meter and dust-proof. It's made with shatterproof and scratch-resistant glass as well, and that means you don't have to worry about your new expensive handset dying just because you spilled a little water. Honestly, all high-end phones should have this kind of durability, but that's not all that Sony's gotten right here. There's an enormous five-inch display which still manages to look sleek and comfortable thanks to brilliant design and spacking a full 1080p HD display. The pixel density is 450 ppi, which means you're looking at a far crisper image than Apple's much-wanted Retina display. They've used smart materials, so despite being huge, it's still light and comfortable to carry. And what's more, the phone also has 2GB of RAM, a quad-core 1.5 GHz CPU, and it comes with 16GB of built-in storage. In other words, it's going to run any apps you have or will have for quite some time to come. The phone is a powerful beast and it also has a 13.1 megapixel camera which performed really well. The only downside to the phone was a relatively small battery. A heavy user will burn through it in about 6 hours or so. Luckily, Sony has thought of that and come up with some good battery management tools. So stamina mode for instance cuts data access to apps when the screen is off. So you can set exceptions such as mail and Twitter, and low battery mode turns off other battery draining features such as the GPS when the battery level hits 50% or less. There's also a location-based Wi-Fi feature which uses the cellular network to figure out your location and turns the Wi-Fi on and off so it's not draining the battery when you're not near a known Wi-Fi connection. With all these running, the battery easily lasted a full day. With all these features, it's safe to say that the Xperia Z is a fantastic phone. And I personally hope that some of those battery management features inspire other developers to think smart as well. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching.